someone's missing a trick here, yeah, like, what do the day is open in a coffee shop right on this street when they get off their ferry. Just for people to date, just want to come to say the beer, cup of water, man, nash back. Someone's definitely missing a trick there, yeah, like, the restaurant, man, good restaurant. So this liquor shop, 99 cent shop. Crunchy chicken. Don't know if I like the sound of that. Crispy and crunchy. Actually, hmm. I do like the sound of that as it happens. Organic food market. That's why I ended up getting uh, some pop and what I last night. There was an organic supermarket. Five minute walk from along the other end. Uh, the other end of the street from where the hotel is. I do always find some convention. The liquor signs, the liquor shops. Liquor. Be a liquor here. Not liquor. Change of plan. Just when I turn the camera off there, black past the bloke again. And he coffee shops nearby, he went. Make a right on, I think it's at Stuyvesant Place. There's a couple of joints along the street. So I've got to make a right up here. Just up from uh, there, literally seconds when I turn the camera off. The Honourable Louis Sangi Ogio. No idea who he is, but he's got his name on a street sign. Might as well take his uh, take a picture. The Honourable Mario J. S. Asitio. Go on, you're gonna make it. Like Stuyvesant, Stuyvesant Place. Just getting some of the street signs here. Right, I'll make a right then. It's a deli alarm, yeah? Day for can you? Oh, the whole point was getting this on charge, and that way that was on. Like, I think I might be fogging a deed horse here, like a school bus stuck. <laughs> He's not gonna get through there, is he? The um, worldwide franchise um, ban completely out the window now. The only place I could find anywhere nearby was a Dunkin' Donuts. So I had to go and have a coffee in a donut while I put this on charge for a bit. So that's that. Well, the girls were very nice in there, they were dead friendly. We'd only get away from them for chatting. And uh, the donuts are hard, like, fast array of donuts by the corner. And I really couldn't make my mind of what I wanted. I ended up just taking one of them. Oh, you just choose for us. And she ended up giving us a Boston cream one. It's, uh, it was very nice, like, my donuts are hard. But um, it was, what it was, Boston cream, was just really a bit like. Like custard, really, it was just well, what we would probably say it was custard. But it was nice, it was nice enough. But the main thing is, I got this charged up a bit. I've just gone past the sign actually for a joint. Down in the corner there, um, there was pasta and pizza and meatballs and that. And what that sort of claim to fame is, is a half pound meatball. Now, in my view, a half pound 
mid border is going to be monkey. It's going to be too dense, too, too, too big and thick and nasty. This stuff. It's just going to be too big, like. Now what I did, me three week uh, trip over the states years ago. Everywhere I went, I tended to get the meat bars and had a little competition between them out to see what. Uh, which one was the tastiest and the ones I got in Yosemite National Park were by far the best I did get some in New York actually at the end of that trip near what canny like but the Yosemite ones won it I got some in um, Los Angeles at uh, Bonnie's Beanery in LA and near what keep big things like in the Oh, it was horrible, like you couldn't, it was all just, uh, it's too, too dense inside, like horrible. But then once I got up on uh, 8th Avenue with an east, yeah, they were lush, just a nice size. As long as I got with the spaghetti and the, um, and the rice, it was lovely, that, like. Makes it like I'm back there actually before I leave. I don't know, you know, there's restaurants and diners and that. Very good. Ah, that would have shot. But if you find a good one, especially when you're not here for that long, you're just here for like a few nights. You're just stick with that, I think, like. Well, oh, cats got a Texan beating, like. Cats has been there twice now. They're not really eating a great lot. I mean, like, I've had a donut there and a coffee. And that'll probably be it now, until later on tonight. Like as long as I'm snacking. Not a great, not a great one. Only I've been, I've been to one hot dog stand stand so far, that's it. I'm gonna smell nice in that, but I was not really that hungry. Which is strange for me, because when, when the weather turns cold, I normally uh, eat like a bloody horse, but especially when I'm on the boat all day and all, you think I've eaten more, but I'm not like, I'm having like a big tea, right? Like, Big sort of taste supper. And that's that's dangerous really. I did have a couple of them chocolate bars I bought the other day last night when I got back to the room. Then baby roots and the um, hundred grand was on about. Oh I've got to tell you. They're not actually full size ones. You got six in the packet for $1.89, one dollar eighty nine. But all the other bite size ones. That's probably why they were so cheap. And not the full size bars. Still, you get six for one eighty nine, and the, like our what we would probably call bite size, and what these are called bite size, it's totally different matter. Two bite size, probably you have with it. Only had one each, so one of each. That did it like right. I'm just heading back for the ferry anyway. Been here a little while, but it happens. That looks canny enough, like. I think anything you want to see on Staten Island, by all accounts, you've got to jump on a bus to get somewhere. I mean, it's not that big. You know, the girls in the dunk the door there were just saying, oh, jump on a bus, a 10 minute ride to this or 10 minute ride to that or whatever. And I'm like, aye, we have seen a bit of it now. Gotta get back and get some of that thing, it's not going to be this. I want to get as much done as possible today, really, because uh, they want to book the snowstorm that's going to be coming in now. So God knows what it's going to be like tomorrow. I mean, not that it's going to stop this day, though. It's just, it's just, it's just get some snowy scenes tomorrow, really, I suppose. But I'm heading back for the ferry now. I don't know if there's one due or not, but there's quite a few people making their way towards it, so... I think they've come every, like, ten minutes or something, anyway. And nobody agrees. I'm so pleased I've put this bloody uh, woody on and that is. I should have had it on from the start. Although it's quite, it's not so bad in the in, in the sun, it's when you get in the shade, it really gets boggy. And the wind's down, the wind hasn't picked up yet. So, uh, oh, I don't know about that, like. Oh, hey, hi, say hello. Hey, hey fellas. Hey, hi. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? 
I don't know what you have to do. Oh, I don't have to have something. Yeah, you've got you're in the video. That'll do you. Come yourself, dude. Right, back at the terminal. There, we'll check back in. We'll get back to Manhattan.